Yeah, because um, having to use that, like, you know, to go from this, Command Alt Z, where it zoomed to fit, um, and maybe also, you know, I'm a bit deeper in depth than that, and then I want to zoom out from that back to seeing my arrangement, you know, zoomed out. I can use Command and the up arrow and the left arrow to zoom out horizontally and vertically, and I'll get there, but it's of quite a few key presses. Not exactly very efficient, is it? Well, there's something we can do to solve that. And uh, we'll open the key commands again, Alt-K. And again, we want to type in Zoom. Now look here. See here it says, Save as Zoom 1, Save as Zoom 2, Save as Zoom 3, and Recall Zoom 1, Recall Zoom 2, and Recall Zoom 3. OK, well, these are very useful. Um, so look, save as zoom 1. Let's assign that. And what I tend to do is I assign that to Alt 1. I mean the 1 key above Q, right? So Alt 1. So highlight save as zoom 1. Click learn by key label and Alt 1. It is not assigned by default to anything, so Logic does not warn you or challenge you about your selection of Alt-1 as the key command. And there it is, assigned. Save as Zoom 1 is Alt-1. Now let's go to Recall Zoom 1, and we'll make that not Alt-1, but Command-1, so they're next door to each other and easy to remember. So again, highlight Recall Zoom 1, make sure Learn by Key Label is latched and Command 1. OK, now this time Command 1 is already assigned to a command. And it says here, Key or Key Combination Command 1 is already assigned to open the Arrange window. Well look, we're not going to do that because our Arrange window is what we're working in all the time and we've also got our screen sets we've already set up to jump to full size window editors and we've also got our little you know, other editors down below that we can open up to do tweaks. Well, remember, we've got a full page screen for our mixer and this lower mixer if we want to quickly open that up and do a tweak. So we're never going to open the arrange window. So click replace. OK, so recall zoom one is now command one. And save zoom one is alt one. OK, OK, let's set another one. Save as Zoom 2. All right. Again, make sure Learn by Key Label is selected. I'm going to make this Alt 2. Again, it's unassigned, so logic doesn't challenge me. And now I'll go to Recall Zoom 2, and I'm going to make that Command 2. That is assigned, so logic warns me that Command 2 key combination is assigned to open the mixer. But again, like with the range page, we're never going to want to do that. So just click Replace. OK, I've now set Save as Zoom 1, Alt 1. Recall Zoom 1, Command 1. Save as Zoom 2, Alt 2. Recall Zoom 2, Command 2. And I've also got a spare one if I need it, which is Recall and Save zoom 3 but that'll do just two will be enough so do tick this learn by label and close the box all right so first of all let's set a far out zoom so command arrow up to zoom out vertically a bit more and zoom out horizontally a bit more with command left arrow there we are so let's say that's a nice zoom out all right that is for looking at us our arrangement from you know, a good zoom out so we can see a lot of the arrangement wherever the playhead happens to be. Okay, so we will assign that by pressing Alt 1. Now nothing will happen, although if you watch the mouse it'll make a little glitch. Watch this. Alt 1. There we are. Now we've now assigned this zoom to Alt 1. And to recall it we use con Command 1. Okay, alright, let's make another one now. So we'll use Command and the right arrow key to zoom in horizontally. And Command and the down key to zoom in vertically a bit. Let's look where we are now. Okay, there's a 
sort of a bit zoomed in a bit but still not that far actually I'll just zoom yeah, about that right so that's a sort of medium zoom out we'll assign that to alt 2 here we go uh, ready alt 2 again all the ma all that was the mouse gave a little glitch watch alt 2 yeah that's it we've now assigned this zoom to alt 2 and to recall it we use command 2 Okay, so let's look at the first one we saved, command, which we saved with Alt-1, and we recall it with Command-1. So here we go, Command-1, there is our far away zoom out. Now Command-2 to recall the zoom we set with Alt-2, here we go, Command-2, and there is our next level of zoom. So if I now do this thing where I highlight these four regions, I'll tell you what I'm going to do actually, I'm going to drag them a bit further up the timeline to about here, yeah, bar 26. Okay, so I highlight my four regions, press 0 to cycle loop them, you know, with the left right locator. I will now fit them using Command Alt Z to fit uh, locators. Here we go, Command Alt Z, and they are fitted perfectly. I do my little, I loop my selection there, like that, uh, my, my locators, and it plays around, I do my little editing, and then when I'm ready to zoom out, I just use Command 2, there we are, and I've zoomed back out to that level of zoom, or I could have used, let's just zoom in again, I could have used um, Command 1, which would take me even further zoomed out, there we are. See what I mean? So by using that Alt 1, Alt 2, and if you want also Alt 3, you can assign three zooms. And that's continually variable. So, you know, if I'm working further along in the song and I want to make that my Alt 1 zoom, I simply go to Alt 1 and set that. There we go. I've set it by pressing Alt 1. Now, if I. Uh, you know, happen to be zoomed right out like this. Use command and the arrow keys to zoom right out. I can get back to that level of zoom that I just set with command one and it takes me to my newly assigned zoom level. Anytime you want to set a zoom, just go Alt 1 or Alt 2 or Alt 3 if you've set that up in your key commands and then command one, command two, command three to recall them. Easy peasy, and you can set them anytime as you're working and you can set up those three maximum. Um, you know, zoom saves and recall them. And I find using Alt 1, 2, 3 and Command 1, 2, 3 to recall them is easy because Alt and Command are close t t t to each other and it's just so easy to remember. So that's how you can set custom zooms to quickly jump to any time. Interesting. Okay, we'll just show you a few more and then it's up to you to discover the rest. I will show you how to ride the bike, but I ain't going to actually pedal it for you, okay?